Ladies and gentlemen from across the globe, RIP my coaching career. Thank you, Mike Perry. Uh, what did you think of last night's fights? Not bad, huh? Thank you. Main event was good. The Dagestani handcuff is absolutely hilarious. I had never heard that prior. Um, I'm just going to start banging out videos at this point because um, I think I'm so buried in the algorithm, I, I have to. So, uh, Kerry Cola, if you don't know who that is, I got him on the screen, I got him in, in the description. Check his channel out. Also, hopefully you understand the A10 comparison. If not, that's in the description as well as the source video. Someone put this out earlier today and I said, that's fantastic. So, they, um, I think the name of the title was Dagestani Handcuff and it was showing, you know, uh, Dustin V. Khabib, as you can see here going black and white to, to modern day, right? Um, I, I do remember an interview with Dustin where he was saying that he learned so much just from just from fighting Khabib, you know, in a loss, which is something we discuss pretty often on, on this channel. And one of the things I, I, I want you to note here versus, say, Khabib has been doing it, obviously, for his whole life, so it's very different, but what is different? Is it the punching? Is it the proximity, like where he is in the cage? Um, is it his actual positioning? Is it all three? I think you can maybe take out punching. I don't think that's part of it. I think that's kind of moot. But as you'll see here now from the master, uh, three-quarter mount into mount. Now look at how, as he's making that transition, his legs and hands move so well together. He already has that wrist trapped. Puts his head down, center of mass here, and he's going to tilt him over to his own left. So it's the Marcelatine or the left hook of Roy Jones' mastery. But what's next? What does he do next? It's trapped there. Let's see his left leg stretches out. Did you catch that? So punches? Mm, kind of position. Yes, yeah, very much. I like using head as a fulcrum point to pressure the free arm into a grip break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So between the stretching out and that, I would say. That's one of the big differences. He is in a different place in the cage, of course, but this is effortless yet expedient repositioning. He's using his left heel to keep that leg stretched out as he's through, and he's still in that kind of three-quarter round position. Look at the speed at which he keeps transitioning and flattening him out and, and, and recentering, right? So see where his head is in comparison to all else. Michael Johnson is trying to use his other hand to free the, the trapped hand the the handcuffed hand right now look at this that's a really good shot and i i i froze it for that reason alone and pulls it back in shoulder goes down head to armpit look at that fulcrum point so that's almost uh like a kimura too you're gonna have shoulder pressure as well or a hammer lock like depending on what your background is there's just a ferocity and a and a, and a speed to this that is a lifetime of, of work but i love that it's picking up like to the point where it's getting nomenclature so russian ride aka two on one note the weight distribution if you happen to check out kolat's channel search for a cross wrist ride that's what a wrestler would call that especially someone um folk style and aspirin would be a good source uh bjj scouts done some work on cross wrist rides uh they're excellent he they she um but see see the pressure and even from there just it's Khabib's obviously the scariest dude ever uh no need to drag it out I just wanted to give you an idea and the new I find the new nomenclature hilarious A10 Warthogs used to be like right next to my house so uh, all of it made sense and I just wanted to do a bad photoshop job on Dustin's head <laughs> for a video to put out today that's all not clickbaity hopefully you learned something how, how do you get to the position 
etc etc but definitely check out some of the channels that I mentioned I might make a video where I just do that I suggest other people's channels and uh, we'll go from there um, thinking of starting a jab series via Elijah's suggestion like really really intricate maybe a whole series of five videos maybe even more on just the jab and the nuance and the why you know you treat it like a journalist when there were some all right and i thank you all for watching i know it was quick but just figured i'd get something out there all righty cheers